It is time for Beckett's from China. Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. And today's video we are going to do an unboxing of the PlayStation 4 Mini. This is the console from Data Frog. It comes from Justin Brown shipping box. Aww, no fancy box. So yeah, let's unpack and let's see what we're going to get. And what comes in the package? It comes with, let's begin with the power supply or the power adapter. It's just basic power adapter. They are, yeah, it's a mobile adapter that Datafrog is yeah, giving you with these systems. Uh, I have a couple of these now. The cable from USB to the power connector for the console. HDMI cable. The little receiver, because we got two wireless controllers from Datafrog. And I must say, they feel not bad. They're easy plug and play. There's a switch on the bottom where you can power on and off. T-pad feels good. They work on two little batteries. I hope I can open it. Two AAA batteries. And let's take a close look at the console. Alright, the console itself. It looks like a mini PlayStation 4. I must say, it's quite heavy for a clone system. Normally they think weigh nothing. And yeah, it looks really nice. I've got a power switch at the front, two USB connectors. I think it's just USB 2.0. Let's see the bottom, bottom Data Frog model E3. All right. And at the back, we're finding the RCA out, input for the power, and CF slot, just a CF card, not micro, US, micro SD, just an SD uh, goes in it, HDMI output, and uh, nothing more to it. That's it. All right, let's plug it in and let's see what we're going to get. Before I forget, very important. Yes, people, we also got a toilet paper manual, but it's pretty damn basic. But it got some, yeah, basic, yeah, some good explanations how the system works, what it does, how to go out of the menu, and that kind of stuff. So yeah, people. And now we are going to try it out. All right. Um, let's take a closer look at the menu. All right, and I think the power on my remote, yes. And we got here the GBA, MAME, NES, Sega games, and SNES games. There are already some games on it. Horrible naming. Some got Sonic with all big letters, and this with just tiny letters. So, and they messed that up with the, yeah, they just messed it up with the, with the, with the screen picks. This is a screen pick from an emulator or something like that. And this is the cover of the DS version. Seriously, how can you freaking, Dr. Mario Vitamin Toss. This is even a screen picture from a telephone. Wow. It didn't even bother of any good freaking thumbnails. So that's a little bit of a shame. So naming, it's good that we have pictures so we know what it is, but otherwise we have Reno go, yeah, okay, we can figure out what SF2 is, but. All right, so let's test out some games. I'm going to shut up because you need to listen to the sound quality and the gameplay. Before you are choosing a game, you're always getting the option to start the game, load progress, and here you can find your saved progresses. I've already did two of them. Settings, here you can sound output. Um, yeah, there is not so much to which you can just do the sound output on and off. Petting map, button mapping for player one and two. Screen size, this is a very important thing. Uh, scale full and original size, so if people want to play it on the original, Scale size and some information about the software. 
languages you can swap that and yeah you can put Chinese or if you want so yeah so about the going back to the main menu when pressing the start and select at the same time you're doing it right you're getting this option save the game progress when pressing cancel and the A button it goes straight to the main menu or the menu you normally see when starting a game and pressing OK here you can save your game pressing A it gives you the option to put it on the local storage or just use an SD slot and here you can just save your states
Alright, for the final conclusion about the PlayStation 4 Mini. Yeah, I know, I know. They call it a Datafrog i3T V game console, but I am calling it a PlayStation 4 Mini because it looks like a PlayStation 4 ripoff. And I must say, it's a really cute thing. I must say, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. It doesn't have the support uh, just like the X Game and X Game Pro. A lot of platforms. It's limited due to a few platforms, but they are running quite well. Now why do I say quite well? Because the GBA or the Game Boy Advance still got a little bit of a sound problem. So it's not perfect. Bummer. But yeah, the Super Nintendo Sega got a good experience. Um, good music, uh, sound. That is mostly the problem with these games. Good frame rate. I still got a little idea that it's got a delay in the sound. Please leave it in the comments if you think that I'm right or wrong. Or, But overall... Wireless controls are nice, and uh, not the best of course, not like original PlayStation controls, but they are very good, they are decent. But, yep, yeah, overall, very happy with it. And uh, for the price, it's way cheaper than an X Game, an X Game Pro. So at that point, yep, not bad at all. I want to thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and see you on my next video. Don't forget, game on! Hi fellow YouTubers, I want to thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Yes, and uh, you also can follow me on Facebook, uh, Twitter, yeah, don't give a shit about Twitter. But Instagram, I uh, make pretty pictures and I send uh, on Instagram. So yeah, follow me.